Hello, Folk Alliance International. I'm Natalie D. Napoleon. Um, this is my first showcase recorded live for you from Fremantle, Western Australia. It was a balmy 32 Celsius today, about 80 degrees. We're just coming out of only our second lockdown. We've been very privileged. Um, first song I'm going to play you is Mother of Exiles. And um, I went to a songwriting workshop in Taos, New Mexico with Eliza Gilkerson, Mary Gaucher and Gretchen Peters and they gave us the poem that's at the foot of the Statue of Liberty by Emma Lazarus and they sent us off with it. Um, the poem that has the line, give us your poor, your tired, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. And um, they gave us that poem and, and they said, you know, sent us off for two hours and I sat in a beautiful orchard grove and I wrote this poem uh, this song from the poem Mother of Exiles Mother of Exiles can you hold me pull me to your breast like a newborn baby Mother of Exiles can you sing to sleep you are my sunshine and you belong to me So um, as uh, we're streaming this, um, please feel free to send messages in and chat. 
We are pre-recording this live, but when we send this out to the world, I will be there to answer any questions or say hi. So please chat along. Um, this next song's called Leaving Me Dry. And when I first arrived in Santa Barbara, California, I was lucky enough to connect with David Pilch, who um, played with Katie Lang for 20 years, playing bass with her. And he produced this album for me. And um, Dan Phillips and Kenny Edwards, who used to be in Linda Ronstadt's band, The Stone Ponies, played on this as well. And this is cool. This is the title track of the album. It's called Leaving Me Dry. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, and like I said, please keep um, sending in chats or questions or whatever. I will be I will be here live to answer them. I'm here live right now, right? So since it's evening, I have a glass of red wine. Seemed like the thing to do. 
is called Slow Burn. Time for a guitar change. Time, time, time. So thanks so much for tuning in to listen, folks. Um, I have a new album coming out. It's being released on March 26th in the US. It's called You Wanted to Be the Shore, but instead you were the sea. And um, like all good folk musicians, um, I've always attempted to write a song that could still be played in a hundred years' time. Something like You Are My Sunshine or something like that. And um, so I wrote this song called Wildflowers. I hope you like it. Turn to 
lost and found You brought me blue ribbons To tie in my black hair Fine silks and love poems Your words can take me You have to imagine a mandolin solo here. It is a strange world we're living in now and we're all trying to make the best of it. Um, I send out hope and healing to everyone and let's hope this, um, this vaccine helps open up the world and touring and music again. Wouldn't that be wonderful? So when I set out to record this album in Santa Barbara, had limited budget and limited time because I was returning to Australia at the time. So Jim Connolly and I, the bass player and co-producer of the album, cooked up a plan to record the album with one um, mic in a hundred-year-old chapel, all wooden, wooden floors, wooden, wooden walls, wooden ceilings. And so we went in there on a wing and a prayer over two weekends and we we nailed it we got the album um, half the songs we kept the live takes and the rest we used the instrumental takes and I overdubbed some some vocals and some music and I hope you appreciate our wonderful efforts to capture the joy and the beauty of live music and four people in a room creating magic and this is one of the songs off the album it's called how to break a spell every day for a hundred Naked in my back, yet to the cr. 
rose card two, three, four. of your lover's hair in a bowl of clay I lay down in the middle of the devil's highway I held out the yellow moon till my hair turned grey I was fragile for once took off my brave face two, three, four Cheers, everyone. I'm going to do another guitar change. So I don't get new guitars very often. Most of us musos are on a budget. But I got this one for Christmas. It's a heritage. Apparently they're made in the uh, Gibson, old Gibson factory. Um, if there's anyone from Heritage out there watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this guitar. Um, there are so many people today struggling with mental health issues. And um, my life has been like many other people's lives, torn apart by some sh earth-shattering losses. And um, this song goes out to anyone who's suffered any great losses and also to send you all love um, and know that if you are broken, you can be put back together again. called Broken. It's on my new album. Came to me and said I'm not enough that you're broken inside and can't be loved. Beyond repair, why can't I? 
God is broken inside you. It is so beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful. And all the damage that's being done. Burns up and shines. Like a fireball in the sky I want you to fix me I need you to complete me Why can't you save me Oh, give me some sun We are two broken bones And together we will mend as one Growing side by side, reaching out our branches together for our own life. Cause what is broken inside you, it is so beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful. up and shines like a fireball in the sky there's a temple in Thailand built from shattered little pieces of pottery and there's two Shining, 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 shining light. What I see is beauty in your vulnerability as the tears roll down your face. Your openness, your brokenness, it brings me to my knees because. What is broken and shattered into tiny little pieces inside you It is so beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful It is so beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful It is so beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful Let's uh, send the amp sleepy buys for a bit. It, it's quite warm and toasty in here, I'll, I'll have you know. Had to turn the air conditioner off to get the recording happening. What's the next song? Oh, I'm going to do the title track off the album. So it was a really wonderful experience to have... Um, oh, where's my capo? It was a really wonderful experience to have Doug Pettibone join me. Um, he's played with Lucinda Williams for many years on the recording of this album. I hadn't met him before. He turned up to the session and, and he said to me, I don't, uh, when we finished the recording, he said, I didn't know how this one mic thing was going to work, but um, I'm pretty impressed. So <laughs> as I said, it really was done on a wing and a prayer and I was willing to throw away all the tapes when the recording was done if it didn't work. But 
it worked. Um, this is the title track. It's called You Wanted to Be the Shore, But Instead You Were the Sea. How could I have ever known that the house I lived in was not a home? When I was a child, I wanted to believe were the shore, but instead you. Close on the front lawn. You said. 
babe, I can find any port in a storm. The phone is telling me that you're coming home, and every time it rains. Turns cold, blood turns cold, blood turns cold, coming home. Heard a thunder rumor, heard a thunder rumor, heard a thunder rumor, heard a thunder rumor, heard a thunder rumor that you're coming. I'm yours and you're mine Baby, we were never meant for rain or shine Lock the windows Both the door I love don't live here That's uh, my voice giving out a version of uh, Thunder Room. I hope you enjoyed that. Much better when you have a nice little chorus to back you up with that one. So um, we spent a lot of time travelling out in the uh, southwest of America. My husband and I love a good road trip. And um, we hung out in Joshua Tree a fair bit. We loved going out to... Um, the Mojave Desert and out there is a lovely friend of ours Victoria Williams and a conversation with her inspired this song the well song so of course when it came time to record it on my album leaving me dry it seemed perfect to ask her to play and sing on this with me so she plays banjo on the well song and and sings on it as well which was a great privilege Oh, I guess I should play Gasoline and Liquor. That's that's the other um, desert song. Desert Travels inspired song. <clears throat> um, but this is the well song first. 
You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make it think that it's anything but a horse that's being led to drink. And you can take a woman to well. Thanks, folks. I'm glad I remembered gasoline and liquor. Um, so with gasoline and liquor, we were travelling out to Joshua Tree. And I think this place is gone or demolished now, but we were driving out on... It wasn't Pear Blossom Highway, but it was out on the way there. Oh, it was Pear Blossom Highway. And we drove past this sign at an old gas station and it just said gasoline and liquor. I just turned to my husband and I looked at him and I said, that's a song. And then I said, but it's a man's song. And I'd never written a song from a man's point of view before. And the whole thing with my new album was to challenge myself to do things I hadn't done before. As you can tell, I'm a singer-songwriter and I was writing a lot of really personal, confessional, singer-songwriter style songs and I wanted to get out of that mode um, push myself to do something different so I started like stepping into other people's shoes so um, gasoline and liquor was me stepping into someone else's shoes <clears throat> to imagine a different experience hope you enjoy it Oh, and this was a great song that we got with one take when we did the recording. Someone was outside um, the chapel and they had, um, we heard this noise. Someone had started up a chainsaw <laughs> and it was the last song we needed to get for the album. We'd like, we'd got like a good take of everything else. And um, we heard the chainsaws start up and we waited a few minutes and they stopped we got one take of the song, it wasn't quite right, and then the chainsaws started up again. 
And um, it kind of razor focused Jim and Dan and I. And um, we razor focused and we nailed this version of the song. And, and thankfully they didn't didn't start up the um, the chainsaws in the middle of, of this take. Otherwise the ribbon mic would have picked it up. So I'm very thankful for that. This is called Gasoline and Liquor. I've been driving this road so long I don't know when to start And I've been running away so long I've always wanted one more drive I've been holding this bottle so long He named every song ooh 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 Gasoline and liquor One came on fast The other acted slow Liquor and gasoline One made mistake The other helped you go I've been sleeping alone so long Still reach out every night to feel your place I've been in this desert so long Know every constellation's name And I've been pumping gas so long I see your face in every car ooh, ooh, ooh. Gasoline and liquor One help me lie The other's foolproof Liquor and gasoline One broke my heart The other told the truth Heard you're out in Riverside With a new guy And I wrote us to keep Look at the locket Hair in my wallet and ask God forgiveness for what I did. Pull my whiskey down the sink, pray it washes away my sin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gasoline and liquor One came on fast The other acted slow Liquor and gasoline One helped me stay The other made me go And as I said, I'm still here for live chat. So if you want to ask questions, please um, ask away. I'm definitely going to finish this water because it's a very hot evening here in Fremantle, Western Australia. And if you want to um, check out YouTube as well, there's a really cool video we made out in the mining town of Kalgoorlie 
and Coolgardie in Western Australia to go with gasoline and liquor. <coughs> Alrighty, so I'm absolutely in love with the songwriter Laurie McKenna. I saw her play live at Sings Like Hell in Santa Barbara and um, I have to say it was one of those life-transforming moments. Um, here's my, my attempt at a, a kind of Laurie McKenna-esque song. It's called No Longer Mine and it's on the new album. So if you like it, please grab a copy. Everything's on um, Bandcamp, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. We have CDs. I've got um, T-shirts and merch available on Bandcamp as well if you want to go there. Natalie D. Napoleon, N-A-P-O-L-E-O-N. This is no longer mine. you love me once I thought you loved me twice but you're not that kind of guy I thought you loved me thin I thought you loved me thin but you're not that kind of guy your sister until I saw you kiss her
Thank you so much for sticking around and listening. My name is Natalie D. Napoleon. My new album coming out is called You Wanted to Be the Shore, But Instead You Were the Sea. I am a poet as well as a singer-songwriter, so um, hence the very long, very poetic-sounding title of the album. I'm going to leave you with um, an old favourite track of mine. It's called Leave a Light On. I'll send this out to my husband, Brett. I, I wrote it for him when we first started dating and we were spending our time. Well, I was <laughs> mostly spending my time between Australia and the United States and um, missing him a lot. And um, I love the version of this song on the album. Dan Phillips plays some, some really beautiful piano on it. So if you can get a hold of that and listen to it, you will really appreciate it. Leave a line on. Thanks for sticking around. Um, please ask questions, chat. Um, come back. I've got another another couple of um, showcases. And Dave Brewer will be joining me, as will Kathy Oliveri. play the right chords don't I okay thanks so much everyone
Thank you so much, folks. I'm Natalie Di Napoleon. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening. I know you have lots of other options here. And um, please um, check out my album when it comes out. You wanted to be the shore, but instead you were the sea. Thank you. <laughs>